that 255 260 area for continuation to the upside but we are still fighting the 20 exponential moving average here if we can yeah 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 bro. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Well, this is your boy Francis. Welcome to the Trading Saucer Show. If this is your first time, you are welcome to this channel. And today we're going to be talking about stocks, of course. We're going to be talking about stocks that are really in the growth zone, that are income driven, dividend portfolio kind of stocks. And we're going to be nailing some stocks from Zach's research as well. Okay. Um, so looking at the market, this is what we have in our view right here based on Friday's close, right? So now when you take a look at this, you now see that the energy sector in terms of Exxon reported earnings as well as Chevron, right? So, um, they did miss. And however, looking at other sector like real estate is also red, followed by utilities, okay? Now, when we look at the week's performance, that is where we're looking at. We're looking at how stocks, how the sectors have actually performed that week. So now taking a look at this, utilities is still taking that lead, followed by healthcare and real estate, okay? So, you know, Looking at it in the different perspective, we're going to be taking a look at uh, 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 um, stocks that we know are going to do good, right? So remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or to sell any stock or equity. This is for entertainment purposes only. Like I said earlier, we're going to be taking a look at Zach's investment uh, uh, research and we're going to be talking about value stock we're going to be talking about growth stock momentum stock income stock and what have you so now just take a look at b h uh, b a h this is what the chart looks like and how we've actually broke out of resistance back into 116 117 and then boom to the upside into 120 121 what have you this is also a good stock to watch in any case when the market and this stock decide to pull back you know this has a very nice growth looking uh, uh chart now let's take a look at the market okay we can't do anything without the market what we expect the market to actually do now spy what have we got here we got xby trying to break respectfully break the 460 but guess what we hit resistance okay we got to that resistance spot because right there is what we've been having the issue okay so 1460 is as well a natural resistance zone now we're back into retesting this trend right but we just couldn't make it back into 445 uh 448 area that i was expecting right so if we can get to 450 that will be a very decent decent way for a pullback just a short term pullback for the momentum to the upside rosi in the market is at what 69 70 percent in terms of uh, rosi so we still have some strength to go to the upside right so but however see how macd has actually been up for a for, for quite a while right so i'm chatting this up and we got that trend going volume is still steady coming in in the market so just keep an eye out and see if we can retest that you know our uh, uh, our trend right here which is our 20 exponential moving average then we should be good to continue to push to the upside right so keep an eye out first stock here is gonna be Tesla why Tesla Tesla has actually pulled back from that $300 zone and I've been pounding the table that that $300 was going to be a resistance spot and lo and behold it was a resistance spot and boom the next day we push all the way back down based on numbers right but now we're looking at price holding that 255 260 area for continuation to the offside but 
we are still fighting the 20 exponential moving average here. If we can break 270, 270, then guess what? We'll be back into the 280 spot that we're looking for, right? So keep an eye out. I think we still have momentum on this stock if we can break the 20 exponential moving average. Another name to take a look at is JNJ. Okay, JNJ as well. What happened here was uh, a pretty interesting looking chart. Market pullback, they also pull back. And according to the news, it said uh, 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 Jensen submit supplemental new drug application to US FDA seeking expanded pediatric indication for HIV 1 therapy endurance, right? So um, as a result, we also got the market reaction to pull back to that reaction or stockholders and back into that 168. So right now, we're holding the 171, 170 area for now. I think for me, I'll be looking for price back into trend. Where is that trend? I'm talking about this trend right here. If we can get this trend right here, then we're solidly in the momentum side right there. So if we can pull back into this 161, 155 area, 157, I think we should be good on JNJ, right? So keep an eye out on that. Also, Camping World, right? Uh, Camping World, there's nothing wrong. If we have issues with the uh, with the housing market and issue with apartment and uh, commercial, commercial and real estate and all those stuff, and guess what? This will also momentum really push because why? A lot of people will be, you know, into camping and picking up the ROV and all those good stuff. But for now, look at how price been holding this uh, channel so far. So, so I think the 20 exponential moving average is the holy grail for this at this point in time. Also talking about Palantir, okay? Uh, the CEO came up on um, CNBC saying that Palantir or PLT arrow is the messy of AI. Okay, as the Messi of soccer. So this is the Messi of AI. I don't know about that, but I think uh, price pulling back into $14, $15, that is a very good area to pick some up as long as the trend continues to the upside. But for now, 20 exponential moving average is what you're gonna be taking a look at at that moment. So let's go through this analysis and uh, see what and what, what our stocks are actually doing because in this, you're gonna get some dividend uh, paying stock as well. Now, taking a look at C CVNA, this is a momentum driven name as well as holding the 20 exponential moving average. Now, on the daily, you see how price has been holding the 20 exponential moving average. That is where we want to be. That is what we're looking for in terms of a momentum push to the upside. So keep an eye out on CVNA as well. This is Kavana, the used car. Okay, also CILK, uh, we're looking for momentum push, button bounce play here. So once we can get that button bounce play right into 20 exponential moving average, oh yeah, we're really pushing right into $30. So keep an eye out on that name. Also, we're gonna be taking a look at TOL, okay? What, where, where, you, where you at? Okay. We're going to be taking a look at TOL, TOL right now. You see, price across board, we're actually holding the 20 exponential moving average, okay? That is a trend definition here. We're trending that 20 exponential moving average. So what do you do once price get back? So long as the market is strong, this is not a recommendation guys, but so long as the market is strong, now you know your next entry is the 20 exponential moving average with your stop loss right below $78, right? In anticipation of this downtrend break. So that is what you're gonna be looking at on Toll Brothers. Also Microsoft, 
Microsoft right now broke the 20 exponential moving average, right? So, so now taking a look at this, if you had set your stop loss on the 50 exponential moving average, you're out of this trade. You're totally out of this trade, uh, okay? But now, see how price actually bounced off the 50 okay so that is what you're gonna be looking at you're gonna be looking at oh let me put it right below somewhere natural support so the price got to what 330 area and then boom bounce back up to retest the 20 exponential moving average so that is what you're going to be looking at when you're talking about trend trading and using the moving average as your best bet right so if we fail that first moving average or exponential moving average we got to set our stop loss on the next one so that our our loss will be minimized right also taking a look at uh, Apple as well, Apple doing the same thing. See how the 20 exponential moving average has been holding, right? So now if for any reason we decide to pull back that we can't get past that $200 spot, we'll be looking at price back into the 20 exponential moving average. That is where you want to take a look at for a long term in terms of, you know, that bounce play. So the market is strong. The market is sound and resilient. The economy is sound and resilient just as a J power. Now, taking a look at GE, okay? GE, you remember when GE uh, did the split and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Right now, we're back up again. So we're holding trend. We're holding 20 exponential moving average again. So that is what has been happening so far in the market. Also, Disney, what have we got? Disney, I'm thinking, you know, there's a possibility of a measure or there's a possibility of a buyout on this name, okay? But if the management can come in and you know you know figure something out and say yes let us change our business perspective let us come you know let us let us do a survey let's look at what the people want and you, you know this will start to go up but overall i'll be looking for a bottom bounce play on this name guess what you remember how prices are really holding the 20 exponential moving average to the upside now we're also holding it on the in, in, in the short term right here as a resistance right so if we can break through then the 50 exponential moving average is our next spot on disney <laughs> now taking a look at c a l m this as well also we're looking at 50 exponential moving average resistance right every time we get to that spot we tend to reject it so we're doing the same here okay so our next entry is going to be anytime price visit the 20 exponential moving average again for a bounce to the upside so keep an eye out also taking a look at uh nu this is also warren buffett trade and guess what this stock has been pushing to the upside and now we're having issue and that issue is not an issue but it's called the consolidation we're consolidating around this area and for the move to the upside or to the downside and again 20 exponential moving average has been holding as a form of support if we fail that level if we fail that support guess what we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at price back into the 50 exponential moving average filling the seven dollars and fifty cents filling the seven dollars and twenty five cents and boom we can hold that area to push to the upside now let's take a look at O as well okay oh right now we broke out of that zone where what kind of zone am i talking about i'm talking about the 200 moving average we broke that zone pushed to the upside claimed the 64 area all of a sudden boom to the downside back into that breakout spot so i'll be looking for price around the 60 dollars as a form of support which we did okay 61 60 dollar area that is going to be our support for more momentum to the up upside also taking a look at lift i think there is also possibility for lift to also push to the upside right now we're working the 200 moving average which we broke right through and right now 13 dollars once we get once we attain 13 dollars then we'll continue to push on this market not forgetting gme as well gme right now we're actually 
fighting the 200 moving average. Guess what's gonna happen? There is a potential for these to really bounce off this area. We bounce off this area, guess, guess what? Where we're going? We're pushing to the upside, break this downtrend right into $24, and that is where we're going on this name. If for any reason, this cannot support, volume cannot come into this name, then we'll be looking for price back into the 21 as a form of support. So now, you're gonna be saying, okay, let me pick some up here, not a recommendation, pick some up here, and then set my stop loss right below 20 so now you're dealing with two points in for the potential for this to get back up to 27 okay so you're looking for six like two to six reward ratio right so that is a good reward ratio to keep an eye out on as well open door okay open door is another name as well small price stocks yes but right now we're holding the 20 exponential moving average just like i said so this is going to be your area to watch if we break that trend back into 50 exponential moving average break that trend five dollar area boom to the upside on this name guys thank you for being here thank you for your time i love you all the remaining chat i'm going to analyze them on my stock tweet and on my twitter account which include baba amd dish gmo gme cav ttd bah cnvn and as so on and so forth thank you guys for your time again have a fantastic weekend guys peace and love bye bye